Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on comparing fractions. Now we want to put these three fractions here in ascending order. That means from the smallest value to the largest value. Now we could do this visually. If we take each of these fractions and were to draw them as kind of like pizza slices, well, this is two thirds, so we split this into three and we want two of those thirds. This is three quarters, so we split this into four. And of those quarters, we want three of those quarters. So it would look like this if we were to sketch it. And half, we just split it into two, and we just want one of those halves. Now, just looking at these, we can see immediately that that is the smallest value because we have the least amount of pizza there. Um, and that is the largest value. We have the most amount of pizza here. But let's see a kind of numerical method for doing this. What we need to do is to find equivalent fractions to these such that they have the same denominator. So we need a common denominator of 3, 4 and 2. Let me write that down. Find a common denominator. Now what do 3, 4 and 2 all go into? What's a multiple of 3, a multiple of 4 and a multiple of 2? Well, 12 is a multiple of 3, 12 is a multiple of 4, and 12 is a multiple of 2. In another video, we see this is called the lowest common multiple. So you want all of these fractions to be over 12. So let's do that. Now, to get from that 3 in the denominator to 12, how many times bigger is that? Well, 12 is 4 times bigger than 3. And remember, whatever we do to the bottom of the fraction, we have to do the same to the top of the fraction to keep it as an equivalent fraction. So I also have to times the 2 by 4, and that's going to become 8. So 2 thirds is the same as 8 over 12. 3 quarters, that's the same as how many 12s? Well, can you see to get from 4 to 12, we have to times by 3. So therefore, the 3, we also have to times by 3 and that gives you 9. And here, what do we have to times the 2 by to get to 12? We have to times it by 6. And therefore, that 1 we also have to times by 6. And now, because they're all over 12, it's much easier to compare these fractions. So here we have 8 twelfths, here we have 9 twelfths, and here we have 6 twelfths. Now clearly, 6 twelfths is the smallest. And 9 twelfths, because 9 is the largest of 9, 8, and 6, that is the largest. And one way you could write this is using something called inequalities. So if this is the smallest one, that's the half, we could say half is less than, so this is less than, that symbol. That's smaller than 8 twelfths, which is 2 thirds, so half is less than 2 thirds, and then that's less than this middle one, which was the biggest of 3 quarters. So that's the order of those three fractions. And we could write that using these special symbols which mean less than. So half is less than two thirds is less than three quarters.